Lesson 2, Parametric Parabola, Tangents and Normals. Example 1. For the parabola represented by x equals 2at, y equals at squared, find the equation of 1, the tangent, to the normal. Now to do this, we'll set up the parametric here. I'll write that as x equals 2at and y equals at squared. Now I'm going to differentiate this with respect to the variable t, because remembering a is a constant. So we get dx dt equals just 2a, and dy dt is equal to 2at. Now remember the chain rule. We know that dy dx is equal to dy dt times dt dx which equals, now dy dt is 2at now dt dx is just the reciprocal of this so it's times 1 on 2a and that obviously gives us just, we cancel this out, t so the gradient of the tangent gradient of the tangent is equal to t for this tangent now we know the point, so we have the point x equals 2at and y equals at squared and we have the gradient. So now we'll just use the point gradient form, that is y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1 and pop in the at squared, the t and the x1 is the 2at. Now, removing those brackets, we get tx minus 2at squared. Now, taking this across the other side, we get y equals tx minus at squared is the equation of the tangent. Now, with a normal, normal is at right angles to the tangent. So, we go back to this one and see the gradient of the normal will be the negative reciprocal, that's minus 1 on the t, because these are at right angles. And using the same points, we're going to have y minus at squared equals minus 1 over t into x minus 2at. Okay, now what I'll do here, just to change a little bit, I'll put this in general form, I multiply both sides by t, so I get ty minus at cubed equals, and then removing this bracket, minus x plus 2at. Taking the x across, we get x plus ty minus at cubed minus 2at equals 0. Or another way, you could write as x plus ty equals at cubed plus 2at as the equation of the of the normal. Example 2. Tangents drawn from the two variable points p to ap, ap squared and q to aq, aq squared on the parabola x squared equals 4ay intersect at right angles at the point t. Find the Cartesian equation of the locus of t. I'll draw, I'll draw a little diagram first to illustrate this. So we've got a little axis here. Okay, then we'll draw like that. We have a point, these points here. T there, and there's Q say and P over here. So at P we have Y equals PX minus AP squared from example one, and we have a Q Y equals QX. Minus AQ squared. 
solving these simultaneously px minus ap squared equals qx minus aq squared px minus qx equals ap squared minus aq squared p minus q outside of x is a in 2 and this will be p minus q p plus q because that's the difference of two squares divide through by p minus q and you get x equals a into p plus q substituting that back into say 1 so in 1 we have y equals that'll be just a p times this a p p plus q minus a p squared and that gives me a p squared plus a p q minus a p squared these guys go out and just get a p q so the coordinates of t are a outside of p plus q and a p q now because these tangents met at right angles so at p m1 equals p and at q m2 equals q m1 m2 equals negative 1 which means that p q must be equal to negative 1 so if that's the case replace that with minus 1 and we get that y equals minus a is the equation of your locus okay and then all you need to do now is look at that and you'll see y equals minus a is in fact the directrix so all tangents which meet at right angles will meet on the directrix